skipped out on this process, there's a good chance that your air quality just got drastically worse. All right, so I'm out of the crawl space. Mike is still working in the crawl space. He's working on repairing all these broken flex ducts. I just wanna show you, we made our access point here for our ceiling and our cleaning, but look inside the ductwork here. You see the mold spores on top of the insulation? That's going all the way up to their second floor and the furnace is actually in the attic, believe it or not. So we got this piece to encapsulate and then we have all this main line and then plus some up towards the attic. But just look at this, look how horrific this is. This is what they're breathing. And if you run into this in the field, anytime you see a crawl space in a house, you should automatically know that they are gonna need some encapsulation. So you can't even clean this ductwork without encapsulating it. This has to be encapsulated. There's a couple of really cool things that this works with. Uh, one, restoration companies absolutely love it. We've partnered with some of the largest companies in the, in the Midwest because instead of replacing all the ductwork, we can repair it and encapsulate it. Gotta be better than replacing it. This coating that we put on is 99.9% .9 will not let microbial growth grow on top of it once it's been encapsulated. So this is a long-term solution, serious solution to very serious problems. So I'm just giving you some behind the scenes. There's gonna be more. I'm gonna actually show you how we do it. We're gonna get, you're gonna see this when it's all done too. So I just want you to see what it looks like before I start doing the encapsulation process. I mean, this is disgusting. To seal it, clean it, and coat it. All right from there. So you see what's happening is this ball right here is facing backwards, so what he's doing is a reverse pull. So he's cleaning that insulation, but doing this can cause damage, which is why we're going to encapsulate afterwards. So if you look here, remember that remember that main line I was showing you in the ductwork in the crawl space here? That's it, that's the same one right there. So right now we're cleaning the main line. You can actually, this actually tees off. There's one going to the left, and then one going to the right, and then one going up. We're gonna use reverse, reverse whipping on this for the entire thing. And we're just going up and down, back and forth, and we're getting all that debris out and all that mold that we've seen in there is now being extracted out into the big truck outside. So while I got your guys' attention, if they skipped out on this process, there's a good chance that your air quality just got drastically worse. It's a very messy job, but someone's gotta do it. This is a needed service. No one likes to do this because it's very complicated. We don't run away from complications. We wanna head first right into them. This house has three entry points on where we're doing our encapsulation. Same thing with the duct cleaning. We had three entry points in the duct cleaning process. So we're gonna bring this up there without getting contaminants all over the floor and the wall. You see the drop cloths are here. This is to protect the home. Most of the time spent is prepping for this service. Like I said, this is a very, you take this right here, you touch that. Now you touch this and then you touch that and then you touch this. Now you got paint all over someone's house. This is why it's so important to prep the home before we're doing this. <sighs> Copy. Copy. space so this is an interesting coating encapsulation project so basically all of the ductwork on this system has fiberglass in it and when you clean the fiberglass this is why we do the encapsulation process so what this does this locks all the fiberglass back in place so the fiberglass isn't blowing in the home after a duct cleaning this also stops mold from growing back onto the fiberglass which just had a bunch of mold growing on top of it we can use encapsulation for for a Several things. The most common is the fiberglass and mold and soot on like real big fire losses or asbestos. Ductwork running through an attic space or a crawl space, nine times out of ten, it's insulated on the inside. Now, some people insulate it on the outside, and if that's the case, and that's going to be a little easier to deal with than this, but. But that isn't the case here. <laughs> These people weren't lucky. And usually nine times out of ten, this is the way that it is. Here we go. All right. You can get a picture in there, get a video in there. So you'll see basically everything's white now when it used to be black. We're at the point where we're going to encapsulate the return drop here. It's actually in the attic. You can see how this insulation starts to delaminate. And this stuff is pulling into the air of the house. And this is what's making you all itchy and coughing. This insulation delaminates over really expensive to replace. And a lot of construction needs to happen to replace this sometimes. Because you see this is all riveted in. That's how it's installed. Really, in my opinion, is encapsulated. Now it'll last a lot longer 
we give a 10 year warranty on the encapsulant. So if the duck works at near end of its life, this would be a good, good option. About right to here, they have a, a coil, they have an A coil right there. We have that blocked off and taped. So it's right there, there it is. There's our coil right there. We're gonna encapsulate that. take you down to phase three of this, which is gonna be the crawl space and the main lines in there. See you soon. Of the last phase of the encapsulation process. So with that being said, now we have a main line that's in the crawl space. So inside this crawl space, it gets moldy. And the reason that it gets moldy is because it's surrounded by mud, dirt, rocks, water. It's in a crawl space, it's gross in there. So what we've done is we've already hyper sealed the ductwork, which is a patented technology created by AeroSeal. And that has gotten rid of all the leaks in the ductwork that were before pulling air in to their ventilation system, literally from the crawl space and then distributing it through the home. That is no longer a problem, which is why the insulation was so moldy. And now I'm gonna show you the process of how we get this in here and start encapsulating this. There's no shame in our game. Like we're gonna let you know if it's fiberglass, it's gonna get torn up. Like during any cleaning process, doesn't matter how you clean the ductwork, the fiberglass is gonna get torn up if you're using agitation. And you have to use agitation to dislodge the debris that's embedded to the walls of the ductwork. Now we're gonna fix it. So this is the important part. I got about six feet right here. There we go. It's encapsulating really nicely. I can usually get about six to eight foot increments at a time. Otherwise, you gotta get the robots out. See how it's all white now? So now we're going to hit this side right here. All right, we've done that side. Now, because I want to get this over with, I'm just gonna go ahead and encapsulate this side. It's going to the other side of the house. Now, when the fibers are encapsulated, now the fibers can't break free and flow through the ductwork and land inside your house and you won't be breathing that no more. What, what do you think, Mike? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's pretty much it. All right, so that's that. We're gonna go ahead and clean these tools up. And now that we've shown you how the entire encapsulation process works, you'll have a better understanding of how IAQ actually comes together.